Hi everyone, welcome back to Mind & Co Yoga. My name is Kayla and today I'm going to guide you through an ooey gooey hip opener stretch. We aren't going to be sweating that much today, so go ahead, put on your comfiest clothes you can find, put on the most relaxing music you would like to listen to, and meet me on your mat. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that way I can bring you more flows, whether they are more intense or less, whatever you would like. Hit the subscribe button and let's continue to fill our mind with good company. Welcome to your mat. We are going to start on our backs today. So go ahead, find yourself on your back and gently just bring your knees into your chest to begin. Maybe your arms wrap around your shins or you let your legs fall out to the sides of your torso. Wherever you are, just allowing yourself to take this time to be gentle with yourself. Coming back to your center, your source, through each inhale as you deepen and ex each exhale as you lengthen. If you have any worries on your mind, it's okay. Just allow them to be absorbed by Mother Earth beneath you. And if you feel like your mind is rather thoughtless, that's also okay. Just simmer in the thoughtless space that you have. Gently grab the outsides of your feet, the pinky toe edge for happy baby. Your knees move wider than before. Option for stillness or to maybe extend one leg and then the other or sway back and forth. Whatever's calling to you today. Allow your shoulder blades to fall flat on the floor. your eyebrows to soften. Two more breaths just like this. Inhale as your knees come together. Hug your right knee closer as you elongate your left leg straight out. Resting on the floor, inhale as you pull your right knee closer towards your armpit. And exhale as you hold. Trying to keep both hip points on the floor. Maybe you want to take a couple ankle rolls with your right ankle. Sending gratitude to everywhere this ankle has taken you up to this point. Here for one more breath. Maybe your eyes are closed, they're open, wherever they are, have a soft gaze or shut eyelids. Inhale as you bring your right knee or your left knee to your chest. Release your right, keeping your left knee close to your armpit, elongate your right leg. Resting on the floor, inhale as you pull your left knee over towards your left armpit, hugging your shin with your hands. Keeping both hip points on the floor, maybe you take a couple ankle rolls here with your left ankle, sending gratitude to this ankle for supporting your right and everywhere it's taking you. Deepening your breath, one more inhale here, one more exhale. Good, bring both knees to your chest. Give yourself a hug as we begin this practice. Send yourself gratitude for showing up to your mat today, listening to your body or mind. And take three gentle rocks up and down. Find stillness on your back. 
plant your soles of your feet on the floor. See if you can tickle your heels with your hands. If not, move your soles of your feet closer. Firmly ground down in the soles of your feet. Engage your glutes as you inhale. Lift your hips to the sky for bridge. Maybe also feeling a quad stretch here, but definitely stretch in the top of your hips, the front of your hips. Inhale as you re-engage your glutes to send your hips even higher. Exhale as you tuck your chin. Two more breaths here. See if you can send your hips even higher, the back bend opening up the front side of your hips. One more big inhale. Tuck your chin, exhale, lower your hips back down, knees come back into your chest and roll up into a downward facing dog. Maybe crossing your ankles at the front of your mat, then stepping back. Inhale as you lift your heels off the mat. Exhale as you lower them back down. Hold stillness for two breaths. Sending your chest towards your hips. If you need to, you can take a generous bend in your knees. Inhale as your right leg goes high towards the sky. Exhale as you stack your hips on top of each other, opening up your hips. Maybe you bend your top knee. Take one more inhale as you gaze forward. As you exhale, step the right foot on the outside of your right hand. Maybe it reaches the edge of your mat. You can either stay here or you can lower your back knee. Wherever you are, maybe take a rocking movement with your right knee out to the side and back center, rolling onto the pinky toe edge of your right foot, inviting an openness in your hips right away. Good. If your knee is on the ground, on your next inhale, press into the left toes as you lift your left knee off of the ground, and you're going to flip your hip to Skandasana towards the front of your mat. So keeping the bend in your right knee, you're going to tilt your uh, left heel on the ground and try to send your hips low, so sort of in the side lunge position. Flex your left foot, toes toward nose, and try to sink your hips down. Maybe you can lift your chest up a little bit. Your hands can be on the floor to support you. Big inhale here. And exhale, hold here. Nice. One more inhale. As you exhale, gently turn back to that lunge position. Plant your left hand on the ground, drop your left knee, and bend your left foot. Reach back with your right hand for a quad stretch. Hold here for two breaths. Inhale as you lift your chest. Exhale as you lower your left foot, plant your right hand and step your right foot back, downward facing dog. Good, this time, inhale your left leg high. And as you exhale, stack open your hips, maybe you bend your left knee. Inhale as you gaze forward towards the top of your mat. Woo. Exhale as you slowly step your left foot outside your left hand, maybe reaching the outside of your mat. Option to keep your right knee lifted off the mat or lower. Hold here. Inhale as you lift your chest up. And exhale as you create a gentle swing motion with your left hip. Maybe rolling onto the left pinky toe side of your foot, slowly opening up your hips. Good, find stillness once again, regrounding that left foot. Untuck your right toes if your knees are already lifted up. And as you exhale, we're gonna to turn towards the right side of our mat now, Skandasana, towards the front of your mat, keeping the bend in your left foot. As you open up 
your right hip this time, right toes flex towards your nose. See if you can lift your chest up even more. And exhale, hold. We're here for two more breaths. See if you can relax into your right leg just a little bit more as you take your one last inhale here. And exhale, reground into the floor, planting your right hand, moving back through that lunge position. Drop your right knee. Reach back with your left hand and try to grab your right foot. Trying to keep both hips facing the ground. Holding here for two more breaths. Exhale as you gently release that right foot. Plant your left hand back on the floor. Meet me back in downward facing dog. Good. Inhale as you lift your heels off the mat. Gaze forward. Exhale as you step your right foot on the outside of your right hand. Your left foot on the outside of your left hand. Malasana squat. Your heels are in and your toes are pointing out. See if your knees can be on the outside of your elbows. Maybe your hands come to heart center. If you need to, you can use a prop to lift yourself up a little bit. But if you're able to, really sink into this pressing your knees out with your elbows. Here for three breaths. Maybe you close your eyes here. Good, one more inhale as you softly blink open your eyes. Plant your hands on the floor as you exhale, send your hips high for a forward fold. Turn your feet to be parallel like they're on train tracks, make them hip distance apart. And just hang here in this forward fold. The crown of your head reaching towards the floor. Maybe bend into one knee and then the other, releasing our low back. Good. Then inhale, halfway lift. Exhale as you fold back down. Inhale brings you to chair pose. Hips low. And exhale to hold. All right, from here, inhale, stand all the way up. Mountain pose, bring your right knee into your chest for one leg tadasana. Open up your right hip and gently sink into a figure four. So your right ankle over your left knee as you lower down, arms can come to heart center. Or this may seem counterintuitive, but if you don't want to place the effort of balance in this posture, you're welcome to reach forward for the floor. And it seems a little challenging to get there, but once you're there, you'll realize it's a little bit easier than balancing. <laughs> Opening up the outside back of our hip. Here for two breaths. Good, inhale as you slowly, slowly, slowly come back up into that one leg, Tadasana. Real quick, exhale, open the gate so your right hip moves out towards your right side. Good, feel that engagement in your glutes. Take another inhale here. Exhale, go ahead, bring it back in. Sit back down into your chair pose. Inhale as you lift your chest. Exhale as you sink deeper. Good. Inhale, slowly stand up. Bring your left knee to your chest. One leg Tadasana. Exhale as you turn open your left hip. Place your left ankle over your right knee. Slowly sit down in that figure four chair. Hands can come to heart center. Option to hold here or if you would like, slowly lean forward, propping yourself up on a block, water bottle, whatever you have available. Or if you can reach the floor, go ahead and reach the floor. Hold here. We're here for two breaths. Good. Inhale as you slowly bring yourself back up, passing through the one leg mountain pose. Exhale as this time you open up your left hip, kind of like a gate. Take another inhale as you engage your glutes, feeling the activation, flexing your left foot. Exhale, slowly bring it back through center, sitting down into your chair pose. 
Good. Hold here. Take one more inhale. Exhale, straighten your legs, fold forward. Nice. Inhale, halfway lift. As you exhale, step your left foot back towards the back of your mat. Your toes are going to face the long edge of your mat for this wide-legged forward fold. Try and take your feet as wide as you feel comfortable and gently walk your body over towards your right side, towards your right foot. Another big inhale here. Exhale as you walk your body over towards the left side, towards your left leg. Inhale here. As you exhale, slowly move your way back through center. Maybe bending into your knees, finding any movement that feels good. You don't have to stay stagnant, but if you're finding joy and peace in the stillness, then you're more than welcome to hold there. We're here for two more breaths. Inhale as you halfway lift. Exhale, you can slowly heel toe your feet together. Meet me in a seated position alongside the long edge of your mat in a straddle position. So your left and right leg are out long. Good. We're going to first lead with the flat back. So a few notes here. Instead of your knees rolling forward, you want to open your hips. So think about there's a wrap going around your hips, and that wrap is pulling them behind you. So you want to try to get your knees facing behind you. Okay. Take an inhale here as you straighten your back. And as you exhale, lean forward as far as you can without rounding your back. You want to lean forward almost like your belly button is dragging you forward. Once you can't lean anymore, then you can round your back into this full straddle. And we'll hold here for five breaths. Maybe you close your eyes in this position, really imagining all of the oxygen that you inhale going throughout all of your muscles. And as you exhale, any toxins being released. If this feels a little tight, that's okay. The deeper your breaths are, the easier it will be. If you've taken a few of my classes before, you'll have heard me say, really, anytime we're in this posture, that the hips are the emotional dump of our mind. So all of the emotions, both challenging and rewarding emotions become stored in our hips. So when we do these hip openers, not only is it challenging from a physical standpoint, but it can often be challenging from a mental standpoint too. So here's just a little reminder to give yourself grace and simmer in this release. Inhale as you gently prop yourself up, wiggling out of your straddle and turning towards the front of your mat. We're going to take a double pigeon pose. This can be um, a little bit demanding on the knees or if you just don't have that hip mobility yet, we'll do shoelace. So what we're going to do is if you want to do shoelace, start by having your left knee bent in towards your body and you can plant your right sole of your foot on the outside of your left thigh. From there try to wiggle your knees in alignment and then gently rest your right knee on top of your left. You can even, even pull your feet a little bit closer towards your body. Try and replant both hips on the floor. Once again leading with that straight back, guiding with your belly button as you lean forward here. That's one option. Or if you would like maybe a little bit more of an intense stretch, bring your left shin parallel with the long side of your mat and your right ankle over your left knee and your right knee over your left ankle. Maybe there's a gap here. 
There's definitely a gap here for me. My hips are not that open, but that's why I like this stretch. Flex your feet and gently lean forward from there. Whichever stretch you take, you should feel it a lot on your rider out hip. Rider out. <laughs> Outer right hip. <laughs> and we'll hold here for five breaths. Remember to breathe into this. Maybe your thoughts are racing. That's okay. Maybe gently close your eyes. Try and focus your thoughts here, almost making it like a stretching meditation. Two more breaths. One more breath. Good. Gently unwind whatever you are. And we're going to flip side. So if you're doing a shoelace side, bring your right knee on the floor, right heel towards your glute. Wrap your left knee over the right. Maybe you wiggle your feet in a little bit closer and lean over from here. If you would like to do the double pigeon, move your right chin out parallel towards the long side of your mat and gently place your left ankle on top of your right knee, your left knee on top of your right ankle, wherever you are, flatten your back, straighten it out. And then exhale slowly, lower leading with your belly button. Here for five breaths. Find your zen, find your focus, and allow the release. Two more breaths. Inhale as you gently walk yourself up. Exhale, release, gently shake it out. If you aren't already, face the short edge of your mat. And slowly lay down onto your back. Bring your knees into your chest. Good. Straighten your legs up towards the wall. See if you can grab your toes. If not, that's okay. <laughs> Take a big inhale here. And as you exhale, whether you're grabbing your shins or your quads or your toes, turn your heels in towards each other so your feet are facing away, kind of like a duck. <laughs> and gently open it up. Or straddle, but on your back. Maybe you gently rock side to side. And from here, slowly bend your knees, sending your heels towards each other. The soles of your feet come to touch as you gently lower your feet onto the floor. For Shavasana in the butterfly position, your knees out wide, your heels in close, and relax. Release any tension you feel in your body. As we hold here for Shavasana, I will guide you out of it in due time. But for now, think of one emotion you would like to release. And through each exhale, imagine that you are releasing it bit by bit.
Gently place your left hand on your heart. Your right hand, palm facing up on the floor next to you. Take a big inhale. Allowing acceptance to enter through your body and as you exhale, surrender. Thank you so much for showing up today. You're welcome to stay in Shavasana as long as you desire, as long as you need. It's an honor to guide you through a hip opening practice to allow you to unload any emotional turmoil, baggage, whatever you want to call it, to be released. May you use the rest of the day to fill your mind with good company. Namaste.